Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 2.4, number 53, and this is where we're asked to just simplify this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and FOIL. So let me take a look at the numerator, right? That would be 3 plus i times 3 plus i, and if I FOIL, that's going to be first, outer, inner, last, and if we take a look at last, right, anytime you see an i squared, you write a negative 1. So this is 9 plus 6i minus 1. These become like terms, and that gets me to 8 plus 6i. So that's where you eventually see the 8 plus 6i down here. But I also want to go ahead and FOIL that denominator. So let me do 1 plus 2i times 1 plus 2i, and I'm going to FOIL that as well. So that's going to be first, outer, inner, last. And again, whenever we see an i squared, we can write a negative 1. So this is 1 plus 4i minus 4. And then these are like terms. And 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So I have negative 3 plus 4i. And that's where you're seeing that come from. Now, math folks get really freaked out when you have radicals in the denominator. And even though this expression might not look like it has a radical in the denominator, you have to remember that i is the square root of negative 1. So when I'm here, or at least I should say that's where we are so far, you might feel like you're done, but you can't have an i in the denominator. And the way to get rid of a radical in the denominator is to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both top and bottom by 3 minus 4i over 3 minus 4i. And then it becomes another I need to FOIL. So I'm going to FOIL everything. And that's what you see me doing down here. So I'm going first, outer, inner, last. First, outer, inner, last for the numerator and denominator. And again, anytime you see an I squared, you're going to pop a negative 1 in there. So that's why you see me popping in the negative 1. So if I wanted like a little intermediate step right here, this would have been negative 24 minus 50i plus 24 on the numerator, and this would have been 9 plus 16 on the denominator. These 24s are going to cancel. That gets me to negative 50i over 25, and negative 50 over 25 leaves a 2, and that's why you see my answer is negative 2i. All right, thanks so much, everyone. See you later. Bye.